what's up what it is what's good what's going on youtube i am back with another racial reaction episode so today i'm reacting to um judge joe brown's finally exposes why his show ended they wanted me to promote certain agendas so y'all we all grew up on judge joe brown because I, I thought that he got counseled because they call him drinking every day so or something like that he was drunk on the job or something but i guess i'm gonna know the real reason why he lost his job or it ended so without further ado let's get into the video <laughs> Oh, then click off. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> yeah, well said. Great points, man. But I got to ask you about the Judge Joe Brown show. Why did that show end, if you don't mind me asking? Respectfully. 15 years, they owed me $28 million and wanted me to take an eye on you. And what was going on? We already know those people that did that. <laughs> no racist shit. <laughs> is a lot of chicanery happening. I had a contract that said I got 45% of the unadjusted gross. The stockholders newsletter for CBS said I was their most profitable show and they missed it, the amount of money I was bringing in. And I wanted my 45% of it. And they started talking about what happened and started going through all kinds of changes. So every year I had to go through this in and out of them stealing money. And then at this point in time, see, I was in a special unit at CBS. It consisted of Dr. Phil, Oprah Winfrey, Judge Judy, and Judge Joe Brown. And there was a guy named Roger King who discovered Oprah and Phil that CBS brought in when he brought in Phil and Oprah. And they gave him me and Judy. He called me to a side and he said, man, they're doing you wrong. See, he wasn't a Hollywood type. He was a former pro football player, and he inherited this from his dad, mm. who invented TV syndication. He said, I don't like what I'm seeing. I'm going to fix this up. So the last four or five years, I was beating Oprah every day in the ratings. Well, Phil every day in the ratings, mm. and Oprah every week in the ratings, but Oprah's the superstar. That's shocking, though. But... If you just because you beating somebody at something doesn't mean that you actually bring in the entertainment. Like, let's be honest. Oprah show was so entertaining. Okay, yeah, low ratings, but at that time, because you was old, you older than Oprah, so of course you probably been on TV probably more than her. Y'all gonna got on at the same time. But me growing up looking at Oprah and looking at Joe, Joe Judge Joe Brown, I would say I'll go with Oprah because. Oprah every day, 9 o'clock a.m. Something is always happening on, on her show. Someone, she given to Africa. She's, um, you know, someone got pregnant or someone, like, the the really stories was on her on her uh, show. And Judge O'Brown, it was just giving, like, um, just the regular stuff. So, you know, but, you know. She was entertaining. It doesn't matter about the views. And I just feel like that goes with, um, even on YouTube, like the most people that even get more views are not very entertaining. They just doing stuff. Like everybody just doing pranks, 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 pranks. And doing stuff for views. And some of that stuff is not entertaining. So I feel like at that time, back, back in that day, I just feel like Oprah, I, I, I could see where she got more clout more than joe but he just got he just had the top rating but she had that on oh, she was still young at that time so yeah i guess i judge uh not judge brown cbs was saying i was their most profitable show and was greatly responsible for 14 so he was making the money for them uh, basically of increased profit the last four of which were the most profitable in the entire history of cbs thanks to me and then when i'm confronting to them they want to give me an iou for 28 million dollars what happened to the 28 million dollars well they found out that the first ceo we had had embezzled 25 million dollars and they didn't want the stockholders to find out about the theft 
Next thing, they brought in some junior executives who come into a show that has been a hit for 12, 13 years. But they have nothing that they can claim as fame. So what they were doing was embezzling money to use to finance shows that they were setting up, every one of which was a flop. So I was over retirement age. I said, hey, I'm over 65. The hell with this. I'm retiring. I don't have to deal with this. Right. So I hired a lawyer. I paid him all the retainers. It was interesting. He also represented some other prominent figures. But I got all my retainer checks returned from his law firm because he turned up missing. And that was 12 years ago, and nobody's seen him since. They think he's dead. So... I don't like Mission Impossible. What they were doing was diverting money that I was supposed to get a percentage of to finance the distribution for all of the Tom Cruise Mission Impossible movies. Uh, It was like, where's my money? Mm -hmm. So in order to get your money, you have a contract provision. And I feel like, y'all, that's why it's so important to, you know give like support these black actresses actresses and um actors and creators you know because we trying to make history we're trying to change the system of somebody black being in the the up top and making actual sense when dealing with especially fame and money like you know It's a lot of evilness going on with the Hollywood, like, in all these networks. And I feel like, shout out to BET, shout out to Zeus Networks, shout out to all these black um, networks that's basically showing some good grace, you feel me? But uh, CBS, ABC, they always been funny with their money and always trying to find ways to not um give give black people what they want like yeah i'm I'm getting all the ratings up there but where's my money honey like i just feel like we just need to start, start supporting each other and stop fighting each other and you know just stop doing negative shit to each other and actually realizing that we need to figure out how can we as being black in this country like how 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 are we going to change the system that's all how are we going to change the system like and that's why it's so important to vote for Kamala vote for her vote for Kamala Harris right now go vote <laughs> but not right now but November go vote shout out to Kamala Harris shout out to DNC they here in Chicago <laughs> but anyways y'all get back to the video <laughs> And it says you have a right to an independent audit, but the independent audit cost you $150,000 and it takes about two years to do. You have to wait in line. So what they'd always do is get with your agent. Hey, if he drops this, we'll give him a more lucrative deal. So at one point, they were holding me out as the highest paid man in Hollywood. Wait, oh, mm, I don't think that's true, but so I, I guess I never saying, heard. Where's yeah. the money? You know, I'm getting a lot of it, but where's the rest of it? So when they wanted me to take an IOU of $28 million, I said, go to hell. And then they wanted me to take a so-called cut because the ratings are down. I said, everybody is a down, but me and Judy are running neck and neck for the number one syndicated show in the country. So that's all. Okay, I'm going to say this. I feel like I was watching Judy more than him. And we had to compare the two. Because every time he came on, it's just like, uh, uh, it was just like dry. But he was still entertaining. Um, Judge Mathis, he's another one. I I feel like he probably needed a little bit more, too. He probably, come on. Like, he had, he had numbers, too. And he's still on to this day, I think. But Judge Judy, that was my girl back in the day. Like... Coming home from school, you see uh, Judy or Mathis on TV. The WCIU, y'all remember that, Channel 26? <laughs> I used to see that after school. This is when I was like, you feel me? Like, then this is when I started, like, get, like in my teens, like 14, 13 and stuff. Because, you know, like when I was like nine or something, you know. But I don't know how old I was. I don't know. It, it was. I don't know how old I I, I want to say in my teen years, but I don't know, y'all. But comment down below, who was your best, Mathis, Judge Judy, 
or Judge, or Judge Joe Brown. Because a lot of you people from Texas, y'all probably going to say Judge Judy. But I'm from Chicago, so of course I'm going to say Judge Mathis. But I love um, New York, so shout out to people in New York. But I fuck with Judge Judy. Was her show filmed in New York? I don't know. I don't remember. But anyway, let's get back to the video. Uh, I just be running my mouth, y'all. Sorry. Be wheel of fortune. Sometimes it would ramp up so it was beating the both of us. So I'm number one, number two, and number three TV show in America. And I'm getting somebody Probably telling at that me time. that don't we remember. don't know where your money is. Oh, hell no. I'm tired of this. So that's why we left. Mm. And then the other thing was they wanted me to push this rainbow stuff. I said, I don't care what you guys do with yourselves. That's your business. But I'm not going to push it. Mm. So then they kept trying to sabotage me. And let me tell you, the sabotage was dangerous. I got an offer from Wells Fargo to take six mortgages and consolidate them and give me less than a half percent fixed interest rate. Hell, that's good. Not even 10%, not 6 not 4 but a half percent. Mm -hmm. Hell yes. So I filled out the forms. Next thing Scam. I know, here's the FBI. What the hell? You Scam. made a knowingly false statement on a federal form that asked you, were you now or have you been in the last five years subject of a pending lawsuit? Not that I know of. What had happened? Seven times I had been sued along with CBS and they intercepted the lawsuit and didn't tell me. Mm. They set you up, honey. They set him up then. See, that's why it's so important for us people to read before we sign. Read before you sign. Wow. They have somebody representing me like I hired them in court. And I don't even know they're doing it. And they're confessing me to doing something that the state Supreme Court said all of us would go to jail for if we actually did it. So I jacked their ass up. And said, so hell no. And then, uh, excuse me, who are you? This is the Attorney General's office for the state of so-and-so. Well, may I help you? Yes, you're unauthorized practice of law. What unauthorized practice of law? These bozos had hooked up with a legal form company, and they had a thing in there saying, ask the judge a question, and he will answer it personally. Question. My neighbor has seven trees that border my driveway. He won't trim them, and they keep dropping branches in <laughs> my drive. What shall I do? He's always gone on business. Answer. I would ask him politely to move them, and if he doesn't hire a tree cutting firm and cut his trees down while he's out of town, that's way wrong. And I didn't say it, but somebody's getting me for an authorized practice of law because these clowns did it in my name. It was dangerous what they'd come up and do, and you didn't know about it. Wow. I don't know if that's done, y'all. Wow, that's crazy. Wow, that's the end of that video. Oh, wow. So, y'all, be careful with y'all sign. Be careful. You know, just do anything. And, and everybody, all the people that's up in the celebrity world, whatever, they keep telling us, like, it ain't easy being a celebrity. It ain't easy. But nothing is easy and it's like everybody that's famous they always say man you know it's hard like it's hard you everybody always in your face okay so if you don't want that fame no more just get out of it you feel me i'm just saying that but it don't have nothing to do with this but you know i just have to say that but being famous do cost a lot um or it's a big thing to be famous and a lot of these networks just from what I'm, for what we've been hearing all these years, is that like everybody is a scam. Like everybody out out to get you, or they doing devil stuff and spirituals and all everything, Illuminati. It's just like I don't want to deal with none of that stuff. I don't even want to. Like when I was growing up, I always wanted to go to California, and I always want. No, nah, I changed my mind. I don't want to go, but I'm gonna visit again. Shout out to my family in California. <laughs> um, I just feel like everything is just. 
so weird and confusing now. And we, hey, if you, and I feel like that's why it's so important to start your own business because you don't have to listen to nothing nobody say. Don't have to sign your life over. Don't have to do nothing. Um, everything you want, you stand to yourself. If you want employees, don't do your employees right. Don't over try to like. I just feel like everybody trying to scam and do not. No, you don't need to scam. If you do things the right way, you don't have to scam. And I people people that do scam, I just feel like they just money hungry. You know, if you on this YouTube platform and you thinking like you could just do stuff for views, that's not how you're gonna do it because it's. They, it's companies out here that want to hire you and you just putting yourself no don't do that for clout don't 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 do things for clout y'all don't do that um because y'all will never see me do anything for clout and uh, everything i did was true real everything everything i didn't say i, I might have deleted a video too because they be flagging me but I just, I'm, I'm hurt that they, not hurt, but I just feel some type of way they did that to Joe. Like, dang, like, really, y'all? And for him to be CBS as they, for him to, like, be with that company for a long time, the way they did him was so bogus. And I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Like, the world has changed. And, ah, uh, y'all. Pray for the world. Like, we just got to pray. We all, we all got to start coming together, y'all. Like, what is going on? Everybody just want to fight each other. Everybody just everybody just scamming, scamming, scamming. Ever since COVID, people been scamming people. <laughs> Even before COVID, but it's like when COVID hit, everybody just scamming, scamming, scamming. Giving us Sheen outfits. No, giving us Alibaba, Alibaba outfits. And make it seem like they created the outfits. The whole time, somebody just expose them it's like it's so easy to get exposed nowadays it's like everybody want to record you everybody just want to just do something but yeah y'all so anyways y'all if y'all like this video comment down below if you want me to do more reaction videos comment down below also like comment subscribe and don't forget to turn on that notification bill bill and always remember the purpose of living is to keep on living kill the music Let's go.